The thinking behind this exercise is related to flow. Creativity is often associated with flow, with the effortless way that words, ideas or actions can suddenly pour forth. Finding ways to create movement, to travel with words or between ideas as part of our process to imitate this flow might initiate a creative flow in our practice. Although, ironically, we need creativity in the first place to perform any travelling just now, having found ourselves in extremely inflexible situations. But there's a chance that even small interventions in our day might help with flow. So here are some more ideas for creating movement in your thinking. Take a few minutes and write somewhere else. If you can't change location, change your tools. Use a crayon, a pencil, a piece of recycling. Respond to the materials and see if this takes you somewhere. Work on a different project for a day, something you feel less intimidated or pressurised by. This could be related to your research, could be related to a hobby, it could be related to nothing whatsoever and is simply an opportunity to give yourself a break. Write for five minutes exactly and stop no matter where you are, even if that's mid-sentence. Or write exactly 100, 250, 500, 1,000 words, depending on your productivity, and stop again no matter where you are, even if that's mid-sentence. This means the first thing you'll do when you next sit down to write is finish off your last thought, and hopefully you'll have immediate momentum. You could consider creative fire as opposed to flow. Seek out what is hot rather than attempting to unblock a drain. What fires your imagination? Try writing energetically, loudly, enormously. Or you could try writing together. Find a partner or a group, do it live or bit by bit, by email or social media. Respond to each other and remind yourself that you're not alone. 